The left hand one was your before, start of the session. Okay, and we discussed obviously the movement in your backswing. You had quite a lot of lateral movement on the way back because the club got taken away. Even the club gone before above knee height there. Your head's dropping down quite a significant amount and moving kind of in that direction, laterally and down off the golf ball. Okay, so as you go back further and further and further, you can see now your spine is kind of leaning this way. You moved a long way off the golf ball, which in turn will encourage you to hit the golf ball or at the ground, should I say, behind the golf ball. So when you're back this far to your right side, you had to have a lot of movement that way. A lot of wrist hinge as well to try and complete the backswing, because doing this twist here now is tough to complete the backswing, so you sort of cheated that by doing that. So the face now is going to be quite open, hence why your shots often go to the right, and you're swaying off the goal ball, which is going to encourage you in the ground behind the ball. So you'll have a sort of combination of fat shots, thin shots, or shots to the right, which is pretty much what you said you had at the start, okay? So in terms of this one, Okay, as that club start, we can't do it. Okay, as that club starts going back, same position on the way back there with the club sort of knee high. You've not moved. Okay, a little bit of move, but still quite close to the sort of the green line. Okay, starting to go a little bit there. Okay, which is possibly a little bit of flexibility. Which again, doing these smaller swings and just practicing that your flexibility, especially in the upper back there, will improve. But certainly now at the top of your back swing. Okay which to you looks quite short, okay? You are going slightly shorter, but your back is turned to target, your arms there and the wrist hinge is pretty much 90 degrees. If your left arm is a little bit higher, which will happen over time when you get more confident, your back swing would get into a position where you're kind of up here and up there, which with the club you've got there is certainly long enough back swing to make, okay? But at least from those, if you look at those two positions, I would fancy your chances of hitting the golf ball from there than back there yeah <laughs> you look at those two kind of side by side now it's like whoa hang on a second so because you're now more over the golf ball you don't need to move so far that because from this one in now when you're back there you had to kind of go way and move a long way to the left and when you timed it well it's lovely hit 20 shots off the mat you hit some really good shots after shot six seven or eight because you kind of figured out where the ball was out on the golf course it's one shot per club and, and you've never hit the same shot twice okay and i've played 34 years probably i reckon I was telling you there about so this is another golfer. I think I probably never, I probably hit more than a million golf balls in all my life of playing golf in terms of practice and playing, and I've never hit the same shot twice in terms of change of elevation and club and distance and, and all the variables that go into a golf shot. Okay, so if you're having to move a long way this way and that way, the chance of being consistent that's sort of the C word that we talk about in golf. Okay, very few times you can be consistent if you're moving a long way, adding a variable to a golf and already has enough movement in itself in any case. Okay, so from there now. When you come back to the golf ball, you can see you've moved back here. Lovely. Now, what happens, because you're used to moving this way quite a lot, you then go quite a long way this way, and you can see it's sort of almost toppling over a little bit towards your left-hand side there. Some of the shots you put a bit more power into, you kind of went a bit... and sort of fell into it a little bit. If you're doing that, you're just moving too far that way. What you want to try and do is almost imagine you're sort of swinging inside a barrel, so you rotate... Rotate, okay? There's a little bit of shift with your hips laxing between that, but not going to be going outside your feet and certainly not going to be swaying so your chest is over your right foot or outside your right foot where you were kind of kind of back there, yeah? Okay? So we can simplify that move. You'll find you get a more consistent strike. A better strike gives you more distance, okay? By actually being here, although the swing looks shorter, Okay, if you watch skull swings on TV, which I'm sure if you watched the golf that you did, that swing there is still creating quite a bit of power and tension. Okay, this swing now, the way I sort of explain this to a lot of people is, this swing now is somebody kicking a football with a two-yard run-up rather than a three-yard run-up. You might lose a little bit of yardage, okay? This swing is some of those sort of four- and five-year-old kids having a 50-yard run-up. Something they've got their ball, <laughs> all the power's gone in it. So there's a threshold of how far back that club can go. And if you cheat it by just making it a big movement and over the top this way, you're not gaining more power. Yes, the club's going further, but it's lost control. You're over the, the side there. Your consistency of striking that ball there is going to be very, very low. Okay. So simplify the move and say, stay on top of the ball on your way back. And then it's a bit more of a sort of shift and rotate rather than having to sort of sway to the left quite so much that practice drill there we said and again you can just at home if you want to start there put the club by your right foot and simply drag it to your left foot keeping it on the main on the on the ground you found when you did that you had to move a little bit this way to the left and you sort of your body was trying to move effectively you weren't kind of doing that okay and there's no need to sort of <laughs> that way. you start learning what impact or a good impact would feel like okay make sense yep. good man very good